Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to a cryptocurrency technical analysis back with another banger for you today, which I wasn't actually planning to do this one, but when I have people asking once again, oh so nicely for the updates that they need, I am here as always to help you out. And so I'll be going over whether you should or should not actually be taking Bitcoin trades right now. So let's go over the charts, what we've got, what we've got upcoming. I think it's a very big month indeed. October, start of November, uh, it's going to be a massive month. Okay, we've got the uh, elections coming up in the USA, which will absolutely have a big factor to play in the outcome of these charts. So although we are very much focused on the technical analysis, we do have to pay a little bit of attention to the fundamentals and external factors that are in play over the next month and a bit. So well, wow, let's start off with the TA. That's what we're known for. And that's where we actually get our trades come to action. So yeah, bringing it back uh, now two months ago, how time flies back from when we now faked out at the low to take out the liquidity at $50,000, bottoming out at $49,000. For me, that was an excellent buy opportunity, something that we actually at Chart Champions had been waiting many months for. After that, we got a lovely rally to the upside. And then remember this downward sloping channel that we've been looking at for all so long. Um, this obviously, after the fake out to 49K, we rallied back up to around 64 uh, before back testing that low of the channel. And this is signified by our first, second and third pivots. From there, we came down to the low. We came up to value area high, fake out of 49K. CC and then we back tested the channel low here. And after that back test of the channel low, which was around one month ago, okay, you see how it's working right now. The low put in on the 5th of August, then we got the uh, retest of that low on the 6th of September. And now here today on the 8th of October, we've got not a lot going on, to be honest with you. <laughs> we've got basically reached a bit of a rock in a hard place. Bitcoin doesn't seem to know what it wants to do next. So what is the best trade? That's what I want to be covering with you today right now. So a few things that we have to bear in mind. You remember when we were moving up to $64,000, even prior to that, right? When we've been pulling our fixed range, we've absolutely had that point of control set at $67,000. Well, now, well, even after last month, it was still at $67,000. But when you include the most recent price action, we've actually seen that move down now to $63,000. So we've got $63,000 now, the overall range point of control. And we look at the uptrend, you can see how that sat right on the value area high of the uptrend. And we are currently trading 62,600. We are pretty much, okay, trading at the value area high and the range point of control. So that's the value area high of the uptrend and the point of control of the overall trends. My friends, when we're at point of control of the overall range, this is not the best place to be trading. Why? Because we can really view this, and this is what I've been telling my members, this is really the a 50-50 outcome, right? We want to be taking trades at the outer boundaries. For swing traders, that would be looking for longs every time we've hit the low of this range, right? We look and have taken long trades. And likewise, when we're at the top of the range, and that could be at the value area highs, we are looking for our short trades. But when we are sat at the point of control, which is bang on in the middle, it's not offering us the best trades. We're not at the very high, of the value area high. We're not at the overall range low of the downtrends, but we are right in the middle, right? This is where you got your best short trades. This is where you got your best long trades. Here, it's more playing into that 50-50 scenario. And in my opinion, this is the time where you will be tested. It'll actually be some of the biggest tests that you will face in trading. Let me tell you that this is where the majority of traders will fail because in this area is where you actually experience quite a lot of chop. And what I mean by chop is no real high probability trade setups. You know, you're front running some levels, you're getting very quick reactions there. I'm not saying there are no trades, but you're offered maybe only one trade a day, one good high quality setup a day. And that's pushing it. Sometimes you're not getting that. Okay, we might have to go one or two days with no trades. And what happens here in these types of zones is people are unable to lose that gambler's mindset, to lose that addiction, and essentially just over trade. They, instead of, you know, what we teach you, wait patiently for the best trade setups, those high probability zones, you know, they will 
not have that patience unfortunately they will end up taking trades prematurely they will end up taking low quality trades but that need that they have of always wanting to be in a trade and trust me it's not what you want to do it's not the recipe for success but it is the recipe for throwing away all the profits that you've made over the past few um you know major pivots that we had you know i know a lot of us longed offer that reaction at 49k you know you can be in profits from that but a lot of people will throw away their you know good profits over trading taking poor trades and trust me it's the same story time and time and time again you know you got to listen and you got to remain patient so you know that's really what i'm urging i do not think this is an optimal trade entry zone and you know i'm not you know not calling anybody out but i know you know if you're saying like i need a trade update you know you have i think the best thing that i can teach you in this video is, is honestly relax relax there's nothing important happening at the market right now it's in the middle of the range horizontally speaking it's also at the range point of control this is a choppy environment you know choppy price action not giving high probability trade setups it does require a bit of patience and that could be waiting one week it could be waiting one month but i do feel that this is the best thing to do and i have been telling that to my members as well so where can we be waiting for for the next what we can class is I don't want to say the highest probability in terms of an epic golden trade setup, but at least a level of where we can look, start to look for confluence and not in the middle of um, the point of control. <laughs> okay. So above us, we can see, again, this is more focused on day traders here a second, but above us, we can see this confluence and that's at around 65,000 let's just say $800 give or take right starts at 60 it starts at the weekly 65 600 ends at the daily 65 846 so we got this little bit of a confluence zone this I really do not feel is the although we got the confluence I don't feel it's the highest probability because we lack that liquidity myself as a trader I love to trade off of major liquidity pools so I do like to see major highs and lows taken we're going to top out at 65,800. It means we put in another lower high, which is overall, um, you know, a trend of the recent months. So we put would put in a lower high there. Again, it's not my favorite setup because we lack the liquidity. I prefer to see highs taken, but that's where we're, at least we could say we have some good support in well resistance in terms of confluence. We're not trading in the middle of nowhere. We're waiting for a level to be hit. We will trade the reaction and we will continue to trade an overall prevailing downtrends. It's the same when we're looking for longs. Would you, you know, I personally am not going to be long in here at 62, 300. I want to wait for a further move to the downside. This is something that I need you to pay attention to. Let me bring myself up full so you listen very well. I am not going to trade 62, 300. That does. And, you know, I will wait for my long trade. Listen carefully. I will wait for my next long lower in the chart below $60,000. Does that mean myself as a trader, I believe that we are going below $60,000 next? No. But I am comfortable with my trade setup that I have planned. And I'm also comfortable knowing that if price does pump here without me, I am comfortable and okay with missing this move. So will I long 62, 300? No, because for me, it's not a good enough high probability support level. I will wait for below $60,000. If price pumps today right after this video and goes up without me, it's, it's fine. I lose no money. I do not take a bad trade. I simply miss the move which is fine as a trader. And I will look then for the next high probability trade setup, which would be a short from higher. That's fine for me. So when we're bringing it back to the chart here, you have to understand as a trader, you have three options. Okay, you have option number, option number one, which is long, option number two, which is short, option number three, which is no trade. So you want to take your shorts at high probability resistances, your longs at high probability supports and no trade when you have no high probability trade which i feel that you have for that right now there's no high probability setup here at 62500 you're bang right on the point of control not an interesting level for me we have no higher term time frame levels we have no good fibonacci we have no good liquidity just it's not a good place for me to be trading so what can you do in these scenarios in you know a few things you can do you can start to trade some altcoins 
I've actually got a live trading stream, uh, which is going to be focused on the altcoins on Thursday. So if you want to get involved in the altcoins, I'll be sharing my setups. And on top of the setups, I'll be placing my limit orders live on the exchange. So you can see exactly where I'm going to be taking my entry stop losses and take profits across the altcoin boards. So if that's of interest on Thursday, live stream for the champion members, I will be covering the altcoins. But that's one thing that you can be doing while Bitcoin is a little bit uh, stuck, we could say, <laughs> you know, very tight choppy ranges, not the best setups. Altcoins are something that you can be looking at. Of course, on top of that, you can also start to move into other markets, trade some commodities such as gold, silver, gas, or you can look at your futures in the stock market, right? Such as the NQ and ES. If that's of interest, well, we have futures covered galore. Uh, Igor and Severin are absolutely smashing that. And if you want to see live trading on the futures, well, you look, look no further, right? Chart Champions is becoming the absolute home for that. And uh, today you had another live trading stream from Igor who, who once again, have a guess, smashed the markets, making profits. And yeah, if you want to see the pros doing it live like that, then look no further than also chart champions we got you covered all areas of the board but for bitcoin yeah it does require a little bit of patience i want to actually uh, mention something that uh, the last thing that you can do if you're bored uh and waiting on a trade setup. i think bored is the wrong word patience well you are patient waiting for your trade setup okay you can watch chart champions content educate yourself right this was a new profile picture uh, which i actually read the comment too small not distinct too bland not brand worthy the old one was better i i i agree actually i thought yesterday this is going to be a really cool profile picture here's me in front of the champion members big smile on my face showing the charts what an epic profile picture and then i read that and i thought this guy's absolutely right because when you're zoomed out you have no idea what's going on there but nevertheless cool photo and I just want to share with you this quick, this is a 50 second video. Let's watch this together because this is the uh, trailer for the event. Let's just, let's just quiff this a lot. Watch, I love this. 50 seconds. Let's watch it together, right? Please, Please help me in giving a hand to welcome Coach Daniel. 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 Yeah, celebrating five years of chart champions. This was the first selfie that I saw on my phone of the CC hat. If I could go back 10, 12 years and, and look at myself, I would definitely say to myself, don't get so addicted. Give yourself some more free time, build relationships. Money really corrupts people and makes them super jealous. They end up doing really, really crazy things. And this was a really cool photo, actually. The music festival was scheduled to start on the Saturday. They canceled the uh, event because of COVID. This was then where I met Isabella. We just randomly met her in the end in Colombia. From my personal experience, a major driver for me. We have like two major goals. Those were fun times. Fun at the time was I'm really happy and proud to be here tonight. There we go. You can watch that full video right now over on the YouTube channel. Have a guess. You're on YouTube watching this. Get over and watch that five-year anniversary gala night opening. That's just the opening. Uh, that's uh, the first one hour of the event, but we're going to be slowly releasing this uh, over the next few days, weeks, um, you know, so you can see more of this. But yeah, what an event it really was. Uh, people that came absolutely loved it. Uh, myself and the coaches and all of the staff absolutely loved it it was it was lovely it was nice and so yeah if you're waiting on some bitcoin trades check out that and uh, get hype for the next event for that we're going to be planning dubai 2024 was an absolute success uh the next one that we go is going to keep getting bigger keep getting better and you know totally hyped and looking forward to that Final words of energy that I can give you all, because I know some of you are struggling right now. You're struggling not to get that FOMO and just taking a trade for the hell of it. I know you, <laughs> I know you watching this video. I know that you are itching to take a trade. Fortunately, as I say, you've got to be waiting a little bit here on Bitcoin because there isn't one right now. You've got to wait for that little bit of a rise to resistance or a little bit of a drop down into our support. And until then, my last little bit of motivation for you all will be that, as you can probably tell, I'm very happy while I'm making this video. Why? Well, I've just finished the Dubai event, which was, as I mentioned, honestly very 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 uh successful uh, better than what i could have imagined it had went the feedback received massively positive 
uh, and it really gave me just even more motivation. It's just such a wonderful feeling to see so many people from all parts of the world enjoying themselves, doing well, and really looking for that, uh, you know, community family feeling that we have built at Chart Champions. It's wonderful. Um, so that is a major factor of my happiness. But what I will say, I just got out of the gym. It's always good to get those. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, each step at a time. But I think in terms of like ha like the way that I'm feeling happy right now, I think that I can share with you that's super important. Eat well, okay? Get that carnivore diet down you. Uh, love my steak, love my eggs, right? Shout out to the carnivores if I'm among us. But yeah, eat well. <laughs> Get good sleep. That's very important. Maintain it, that balance of your social life. It's all well and good. I know <laughs> I speak from experience. You want to be, you know, 12, 16 hours a day studying, trading in front of the computer. But trust me, maintaining that healthy balance will pay off in the overall uh, feel. You don't want to burn out. Burnout is a major thing. You know, maintain that healthy balance. Join some clubs. Make some friends outside of the charts. You know, you can make chart champions friends, but connect outside of the charts. It's very important to, you know, maintain that balance. Um, you know, work out at a gym. You know, that, that definitely helps. And uh, I think a major thing that I would also say, if you haven't already, find yourself a girlfriend and make that girlfriend your uh ideal future wife right find someone that you will grow together uh love together and just someone that you just respect and admire and make sure that is likewise you respect the girl she respects you back and trust me it's going to be your happiness it's going to be your motivation it's going to be um you know paired together with everything else you're going to live such a happy wonderful life here with us at chart champions you're going to be learning to trade you're going to have that profits on the charts you're going to be able to treat your girl make her happy work out in the gym eat the best foods what more could you want i don't think there's anything else you know there's all this about the material possessions buying the lambo buying the x y and z sort of thing no you it's not necessary. I do speak from experience from someone that has the money to do everything that I want. Um, you know, it's not about the material possessions. It's that core basic. There's a few things that I've just mentioned that brings me much more happiness than going out and buying whatever tomorrow. I don't care about that sort of thing. If you keep that and, and what I want to say actually upon this is you don't need extortionate amounts of money. It's not necessary. If you can keep your, you know, if you can have the goal and I think this is really, really, really good goal, you know, have a goal. And again, this is going to take some time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Might not even happen next year. But if you have a goal for the next five years, challenge yourself in the next five years if you can be making a steady income from trading you know 10 to twenty thousand a month which is really not that unrealistic that's you know very achievable in trading okay look to make that a month you are so set of course you can keep on expanding you can keep on making more compounding your gains but you can just just you're gonna live such a happy life and you know i honestly think the difference between 20 grand a month versus 200 grand a month for me anyway uh having experienced it all like there's no difference in my life my life no different at all so Anyway, I don't know where I was going with this. I didn't even plan to talk about it. All I wanted to say is I am very happy. And that is thanks to the lot of you watching these videos, tuning in every week, giving lovely comments, giving lovely feedback. I am so happy to be here. I am so happy on the charts. I am more motivated than ever. I just want to give you the best service possible. I want to give you the best trades. I want to give you the best analysis. And from my heart, from my absolute this right here this is why i wear the chart champions badge over my heart every day because this is my life this is what i'm here for this is my calling this is my passion this is my energy i want you to succeed and i want you to do it with us at chart champions we are a community we are a family we are all here to help each other and i mean it i, I truly mean it so um yeah if that's not motivating you I don't know what to say. It's motivating me by saying it even. So uh, yeah, hats off to everybody. I'll see you over on the website. We got a lot of live streams coming up and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And I'll see you in the next analysis video. And of course, if you can't wait, I got a, a video lined up for you on the website tomorrow for the champion members. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye. Cheers.